Twas the night before Christmas, when all through AZ, nothing was stirring save for quail by a tree. Funnel traps were set by the river with care in hopes that garter snakes soon would be there. Kit foxes were nestled, all snug in their burrow, undiscovered by elves except the most thorough. And Sky with his sun shirt and I a camel back had returned from the field after a scratchy bushwhack. When out on the sand there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my cot to see what was the matter. Away to a wash, I scurried in a sweat, tripping on holes that posed quite a threat. The moon on the spines of Teddy Bear Choya glowed like Christmas lights on a giant sequoia. When what to my sunburned eyes should appear but a giant Ford truck and eight techs full of cheer. With a seasoned leader so smart and so rad, I knew in a moment it must be Sir Chad. He measured the air temp and humidity too, then lined up his transect, whispering, I'll find you. Gazing ahead, he prepared for the trek, and he whistled and hollered to each bright-eyed tech. Now Haley, now Trent, now T-Rod and Jed, on Julie, on Alexa, on Samuel and Deb. Check the deepest cave, climb the steepest slope, check every inch, don't be a dope. As dry dust before the wild haboob does fly, and temperatures climb up higher than high. So up the ridge line, the techs did climb, checking nook and cranny and taking their time. Despite sonic booms from the zooming air force, I heard the techs crunching through a field of quartz. As I switched off my light and was turning around, down a scree field slid Chad, barely touching the ground. He was dressed in UPF from his head to his toe. His clothes were all faded, but no skin did it show. A tortoise processing kit was buried deep in his pack, and he reached for blue gloves stored next to his snack. His eyes, how they squinted, his beard, how grisly, sweat dripping off his forehead could be described as drizzly. His brimmed hat was secured tight to his chin, but the shadow it cast couldn't hide his wide grin. The bite valve of his camelback he held tight in his lips, staying hydrated, a battle you can't win with sips. He had a small garment and a sturdy snake stick that clanked on rocks like a shiny ore pick. He was fit and athletic, a right jolly researcher, and I laughed when I saw him, a true deserty creature. A wink of his eye and a quick little wave told me Gopher Smurafgai had been found in a cave. Reaching into the burrow, he proceeded with quickness, counting the scoots and checking the fitness. As he blew the last bit, of epoxy paint dry, he cursed the damn drought as he looked at the sky. A large cactus spine he removed from his rear, tortured by thoughts of an ice-cold beer. Slowly he rose from the hot, dusty ground, and he headed to the truck with a leap and a bound. He chugged a V8 as he sat in AC, the dust from the trucks obscuring his glee. But I heard him exclaim ere he rounded a curve, Happy Christmas to all! protect and conserve.